Hi there. So this is how to um, make a couple of four uh, pretty nifty knots to know. Um, they're not really helpful. They're just fun to make and they're kind of decorative. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you all is the Celtic heart knot. Um, it forms a heart in the chain that you can wear as a pendant. And um, I'm using half inch thick uh, nylon braided cord. And um, you don't have to use this. But um, I'd suggest it to uh, make everything function properly. So, um, what we're going to do is find one length of cord, make a loop out of it, find the end of your cord, put it into the loop, and pull it through, and then pull it through there. So it comes right there. Then take the end again and then just weave it in out in out and that's basically the Celtic heart knot all you have to do is pull these and it begins to take form you're just gonna have to kinda work with it for a little while um, it's a little bit time consuming but it's still quite fun to make yeah, that looks nice. So, that's the Celtic heart knot. Next knot I'm going to be showing you is the bloody knuckles knot. It looks like a fist. Um, it's very cool. And I've just shown you a girly knot now. This is like a manly knot. So go ahead and you're going to be using a finger for this. Um, one of you please. So make one loop. Make a second loop down the chain. And put it behind. Put it on your finger and pull like that. We're going to make loops and put them around our finger five times. So as soon as I have five loops on my finger, one more to go, um, then we can start to shape it. There we are. Then pull the whole thing off your finger. Make sure that your rings don't collapse. And get one end of your cord and thread it through the holes that you've made that your finger used to be in. There we go. Pull tight. And ditto with the other. Okay, um, it looks like nothing now, but as you tighten it and adjust it, it'll begin to look more and more like bloody knuckles. It's kind of like a gang symbol almost. See how it's a fist? Isn't that cool? So that's the bloody knuckles. Um, the next knot I'm going to show you is called the padlock knot. Um, it does nothing against preventing from burglary, but um, it is kind of a cool touch to add to, um, I don't know, just like a little chest that you might have. Um, it does take a little while to untie, so this is going to be my last knot. You probably don't want to see me untie the whole thing. Um, so if you have like a diary or something that you don't want one of your siblings to get in to, um, this is a great knot to use because it stalls you a lot. So um, I'm just going to use I guess I'll just use this chair. Um, let's just pretend that, that this chair rung is the little thing that you set your padlock on. Right here. So go ahead and make sure that you have equal lengths. So make sure the tips touch. There you go. And then you're going to make one loop. Set it down and make a second loop. Sorry, I need to do... The loops have to be facing inward. There we are. And then we're going to take our ends and just thread them through the thing many, many times. <laughs> I 
as many times as you can really get into your loop. That should be good for now. I need to take my second end and do the same. And as soon as you finish this process, all you really have to do is pull both ends and the whole thing will take shape and it'll look like a padlock. This again is a time consuming knot and once again I'm using the same kind of cordage, half inch. Um, that's the best. Okay, so now that I've finished this, I'm going to pull both ends and the whole thing will start to lock in on itself. There we go. So that's the padlock knot. And then just, just like, tuck this stuff off. So, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed. And, um, I also have, like, a, a video that I'm going to put up soon of just, like, regular knots that you can use. Um, like, that you can actually use in everyday life. So, um, hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, have fun not dying.